Welcome to the main street of the Chabad Hasidic Jewish community in Brooklyn. It's called Kingston Avenue, and if you want to know what you will find on a main street of a Hasidic Jewish community, join us, us and watch till the end of this video. And for now, hit that subscribe button. It takes only five seconds. Five, four, three, three two, one. Baum. We're starting off with a coffee. <laughs> and the wow. logo is a rabbi. Before we move on and get our coffee, because we're not coming back to this corner, over here you have a massive building. It's a Jewish children's museum, and it's like five stories high, I think, and it's honestly an incredible museum. What makes this kosher? It comes from a cow, not from a pig. <laughs> and you call a double espresso? Yes. Can? Yeah. I'll just get a cappuccino, please. Okay. Where are you from? Ukraine, never with What's doing here? So Shana Rishena means the first year of marriage. Many people move here right after they get married just to be in the presence of the big synagogue where the Rebbe was and where there's so much Jewish life here. Over here we have lots of different types of pastries. The bottom one's a dairy and the top two a parrot which means there's no dairy in it. When you have dairy, you have to wait an hour until you have meat. Or if you have meat, you have to wait six hours until you have dairy. So if someone wants a nice croissant and they just had a good chicken sandwich, they know not to buy anything from the bottom level. There we go. Night channel. Thank you. Nimi is my childhood friend <laughs> since how old? Uh, three. Since we don't even remember. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> and she just had a baby and going to the wrist on Thursday. And I'm so excited to raise the same for okay. So this guy, he came in for his grandson's birth, all the way from Australia. He is the mohel of our son Mendel. Can I buy you a coffee? Let's have a coffee. <laughs> Here is the Judaica shop. The guy behind the desk is Razel's uncle. Fantastic. This is a book. It has the 12 Pesukim that the Rebbe initiated. I know, yeah. I know, I know you. You're from Australia, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. I saw the video like when you surprised your parents about the child. It yeah, was, yeah, yeah. It was an emotional video on TikTok. This is religious stuff called scissors. Okay. You put it like on your body, okay. like this, and you need to say a brocha, blessing for the God. So there is many knots over here and they're made out of wool that represents the 613 mitzvahs. There's my sisters, here we go. <laughs> so on the sisters here, we wear it every day. I put it over my undershirt. I sleep with it. I live with it all the time. Obviously we buy new ones and we change it and we wash it this in the new. washing this machine. This is actually like two days old. Now we have to put everything back on. <laughs> Men forget sometimes more often than women that we have a connection to God. We are a part of God. Women and are more connected by nature. They don't need that constant reminder. That's why we don't wear like the kippahs. Like this is hundred and thirty dollars. We're gonna visit my grandmother. She lives off this main street. In the meantime, this is a big ice cream store. How are you? Hi, so nice to see you. Linda, so that's so Dizzy, Dizzy. Queen Dizzy. of New York. Thank you, Baruch Hashem. I'm so, I don't know, overwhelmed. Oh, yeah. Seeing you up. I'm so happy to see you. Nine hour, you look. Mommy, lose one second, Mommy. The kosher ice cream candy store. So why does ice cream need to be kosher? It's for every reason, the dairy in it, uh, the ingredients. You see that candies are made from all different shapes and sizes. It can look very innocent. Many times candies are coated in gelatine and that's a problem. Nice choice, you know me. White chocolate. Mm, this is a fish shop. Hi. How are you doing? Nice to meet the whole family. So this uh, was open year, like over 50 years ago. Wow. In, uh, by your by your grandfather. Yeah. I was actually. Can you show me a picture of him. 100. He's actually all over. He's on every uh, every product. This is like the world famous uh, gefilte fish. This is the most famous gefilte fish in the world. <laughs> right. right here uh -huh. in my head. Wow. His name was Berker Raskin, yeah. and he is my right. sister. Chava's grandfather. To check our line of herring too. There's hummus, there's egg salad, tuna. So fish in general needs to be kosher. It has to have fins and scales. This is not for the faint-hearted. If you're vegan, you can skip a few seconds over here. This is a fish without skin. It's a tuna. This is a needlefish. What is this? Snapper. Snapper. Herring man. You're the herring man. We only come to the best, yeah. Danny talks like herring. herring. Very amazing. Okay. Mm. Ready? This is the Swedish herring, and this is the Danish herring. All right, guys, it's a new day, by the way. We're back. You can see we're in different clothes. All right, we had some herring last night. We went home to have a quick dinner, and then we thought we we're going to go back to the street. But the herring was very strong, and it put us straight to sleep. Here we are. 
outside a store called Weinstein. If you ever come to the Hasidic neighborhood of Crown Heights and you need an umbrella, this is where you come. If you need any kitchen utensils, you see over here. Famous stores, it's called Judaica World. And it's literally, what is that? Yeah, in this little corner, they have lots of Jewish games for kids. All with Jewish concepts in them. Okay, let's buy this and let's go. I'm from Sweden originally. Oh, nice. What's your favorite thing about Kingston Avenue, the street? It's vibrant, Yiddish street, everybody with a smile. This place is called Wholesome Bagels. They're a kosher bagel and shop. I'm going ahead because I am hungry. <laughs> the shop started in 1989 by my father and one of his partners. And I'm here about uh, 10 years now. You see these people over here stalk our channel. Don't do that, you have to follow. Don't stalk, follow, always. Show your love and support. Here we have Ruskin's fruit. This is the fruit shop the Lubavitcher Rebbe used to shop in. Well, deliver, they used to deliver to his house. Why, why do you come to Ruskin? I just love rice, Ruskin. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Market's here for like 10 years, right? For sure, yeah. The first day it's Yiddish. 10. This is what happens when you're in a community for 10 years, you start picking up the languages. This place over here, it's called Araita. And this is where they sit down, one of the places, where they sit down and actually write Torah scrolls, tefillin, and mezuzahs. These things are very valuable. Torahs can go up to easy 100K. So. Every Jewish man wears tefillin every day. It's what we need to do in order to connect to God. This over here is what is the leather, what tefillin is made out of. The Jewish name for this process is called ibud. You take this piece of leather out and you scrape it so well till it becomes parchment, just like that. This is the actual mezuzah. So he has one problem over here. You see there's one word, letter that's a mem instead of a chaf. And therefore this whole piece is invalid and not kosher. This is what the inside of the stone looks like. If you're not mistaken, it's a big, large mezuzah. So he has a real quill, and then he dips it into ink. What's your favorite thing about Crown Heights? Oh, do I have to answer that question? The conveniences. The convenience. How many, uh... We're back here for the third day in a row, filming this vlog of Kingston Avenue, the Hasidic Jewish community here in Crown Heights, Brooklyn, from beginning to the end. This is actually a modest clothing store filled with clothes that are what we call sneot. There's a rack filled with long dresses. We cover our knees, we cover our elbows, and we cover our collarbones. You'll see skirts are long. Shirts have sleeves. And that's basically modesty in 30 seconds. Why do Jewish women dress modestly? Um, first of all, it represents us being women of God and being a princess and having the sensitivity when we cover ourselves. And I love dressing modest. That's beautiful. So do I. So we're <laughs> twins on that one. We have a bakery. Good morning. Welcome to Gumbo's Bake Shop. Thank you. a one-stop coffee, sandwiches, salads, danishes, love, drinks. Famous. Anything you need. Famous. 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 Are you married? Listen. Send your resume to me. Mary's still single, so... I'm ready to mingle. Hold on. I'm ready to mingle. This is where the party's at. A little hole in the wall, and this is called a mikvah kelim. Oh, you swipe your card here. If you're in a museum, but when you open it, leave it unpacked in boxes. You'll be charged $30. If you leave the door unlocked, you'll be charged $30. So people would probably leave this place a little messy, so I guess this is their new vibe. Okay, now what? Oh, how it opens. Oh, wow. It's a new fancy system. There are mikvahs for human beings, there are mikvahs for women, there are mikvahs for men, then there are mikvahs just for vessels. Every single vessel that we use that is not made out of wood. It's a mess. Across the street we have a hat store. Primo hatters. Primo hatters. Also, this is where I actually got my jacket. It's Fair not custom made, but it's a tailored. A tailored. They also have kapotas, which is what you'll see the long black coats that men wear. It's worn on Shabbat and on holidays and on special days. You've probably seen it. We got all these black hats. We have smaller brims. It's their own make. It's Italian, made in Italy. Beautiful hats, light hats. Well, I follow your journey. Yes, thank you. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Welcome to America. Thank, thank you. you. Nice thank to you. do that. <laughs> the is a Prince Albert jacket worn by Chabad Sidim. 
most other Hasidim wear another jacket called a backer chair. We wear this because the rabbi wore this. And it's 100% silk. The reason why we wear silk on Shabbos is that it's Kabbalistic. It's made from a, it's made from a living Gomorrah. Check you out, Danny. You're looking good. And we have none other than... My sister Chava over there in the jeans jacket. Chava! What's up? Nice to see you guys. What's up? Hi, Chava. You can follow her on Instagram, Chava Makeup. She has a makeup uh, channel. You can get everything and anything. This place is always bustling with just happenings, Shabbos, events. Like right here, we're outside a first quality store of just party things. It's not just randomly. Every single day there's some celebration happening. A birthday, Thank God. an engagement, a wedding. His name is Rabbi Shmerel. And he was my rabbi when I was in his yeshiva in Alitera. So the rabbi said that this neighborhood of Crown Heights has a unique blessing to it, has a unique aura. Hi, David. How's it going? Made it just in time. Here we are with David. Here's the wine shop. David, you're so good at keeping the yeah. I see every single time you remember to cafe. So that is, this is the back of it. You can't see the front, but it's on every single Jewish home. It's like a shop, every single door. It has the prayer of Shema in it, which is the most important prayer in Judaism. And it protects the home. Or the shop. This is Yudi. This is a family business. Line. There are thousands and thousands of kosher wines. Obviously, not every store can carry each and every one, but my job is to get the best quality. Mostly from Israel, South Africa, California. As you can see, the selection is growing literally daily. The kosher wines right now is winning over non kosher wines wow. in the last 10, 15, 20 years. Yes. All right, that is Kingston Avenue. The end, we missed um, the last two stores. This is the main street of the Chabad Hasid community. This is what you'll find in Brooklyn, New York. Here we have some new fans. Guys, what do you say to the camera? Follow our Jewish family! There we go! Woo!